so let's say you have a game with multiple levels. What's the best way of going about the multiple levels instead of hard coding each of them? And that's what we're going to be going over in this tutorial. Um, you can see I have a player. If I run the game, I have a player that can move around and I have this thing, which will take you to the next level. Right now it doesn't do anything because we haven't coded it in yet. We basically have a player that moves and we have a next level thing, which is this yellow thing right here, which will take us to the next level when the player collides with it. And you can see I'm just using this hitbox right now and it's checking if it's entered and if it's a player. This is where we want to change the levels. And you can see that in my levels, we have level1.tscn level 2.tscn. I have them named and they're actually very similar in naming. You can see these levels, the naming is very actually very similar. You have level underscore one and level underscore two and we could use this to find the level that we want to go to next. Now you could just use an array and drag each level into the array and that requires you to actually add more levels to the array. We want to have a system where we don't have to do anything to it and it just works. And so that's what we're going to be basically going over. So when the player collides with it and we want to go to the next level. So here's what we're going to do when we want to go to the next level. We're going to have to figure out which level we're at first so we can figure out which ones we're going to next. So to change levels, you can do git tree dot change scene, which changes the current scene in the scene tree to another scene and we can't just type in one of these because that will mean it only will work for one level and it won't work for any of the others so instead we're going to be writing something very similar we can hit enter and we can write level underscore because all the levels are going to have level underscore and we need to figure out the current level we're at so to do this we can do git tree dot current scene dot name now that will return the entire name like let's say right here if i if i'm in level one this is going to return level underscore one we just want the number so if i go back to script i can write integer get tree dot um currency not name it will only return the numbers that are in the actual name which in this case is just one right now we're trying to parse a string together and we're using plus and it's getting mad because we are n not using a string and it, it's using an integer so we need to change this to a string because right now it's at an integer value and that cannot be added to a string so to do this you can actually write string in parentheses and string out this entire integer conversion of the name now this is going to take us back to the current level we're at though we want to go to the level that's next so what we can do is we can actually do plus one after this parenthesis of the name where it's still converting it to an integer which allows for it to get okay this current scene is one now we need to go to two and all this is using is get tree that current scene which gets the main scene that we are in which in this case is level one and then it gets the name of that which this is the same thing it's level one and what that does we convert it to an integer and the integer will return one because that's the only uh integer in this value all of this we'll just return the level number that we are currently at if our levels are named correctly. And then we add one just to take us to the next level. So this parses the entire string. The only problem is in our uh, scenes, you can see that every single one of them has .tscn at the end. And this doesn't because it just says level one or, or when you're hitting the level, say level two, uh, res level two. Yeah, that's not a scene. We can't load that. So to fix this, Right here, we're going to do plus, and we're just going to write a scene uh, string. We're going to call it dot tscn, and then the parenthesis ends it where we are changing the scene. So everything in between this is just parsing the string of the scene that we are wanting to change to. And this will allow us to change different scenes dynamically if each of them are named correctly. I mean, you can actually print this as well if you want to see it for yourself. You can print, and we can copy all of this right here and just print it all in this just so we make sure it's actually returning the right level so now i'm going to play we're in level one and i'm going to collide with this oh level 2.tscn and if i try to collide with this level 2 one we're going to get an error because i don't have level 3 in my game but that's basically how you do it you just name all the levels in the same convention and then you just make a script that will basically find the next level using the current level's name and goes from there. This is like one of the easiest ways I found to actually uh, get this working dynamically. If you guys have any other ideas on how to do this, you can let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.